What did uh, rookie meals look like in the NFL? Like, did you so guys have your that or yours a little different? Yeah, so it was with position groups. Okay, so you take your group out. Yeah, so for me, you know, pretty good. Oh, <laughs> Wait, <laughs> it, so was it was me. Cool. It was me, right. Vinatieri, Matt Stover, and Justin Snow. And in Indianapolis, like, I guess every place has a nice high-end steakhouse, but how much can you – there's no, like, king – whatever those shots are that are like, yeah, yeah. except for at some places, you know, like that's not just like a, so I didn't really. You do guys that. didn't do it on the road. You did it in Indy. Yeah. And it was like in the, it was during the season in the middle of a week we did it, but there's some guys like first round draft picks. They fucking, now they get it, you know, like, cause everybody knows their money, everybody. And if it's like a first round draft pick, that's an offensive lineman or mm -hmm. like a, uh, a D lineman or the secondary or oh, the secondary they have, they have some dinners and meals where they're buying a lot of shit that, you know, is not getting drank at the table. That's getting taken home. These things are very expensive. We're taking these to go. Yeah, yeah. Like that. How about in hockey? You guys do similar stuff? Yeah, I mean, it's it's just based off the team. So that's what we're asking Mikey. Like sometimes, you know, my rookie year, there was, was only two of us. So, um, you know, the bill was probably uh, – 15 grand and uh, Marty Bredore paid for probably he paid he paid for half of it because so then we uh, me and the other rookie only paid like you know uh, 37, 35 yeah thank you that's good yeah. no somewhere around there like 3500 four grand somewhere in that range um don't know what it exactly was but anyways uh so but then some years it's you know it's it's uh sometimes you have a big group of guys you're not going to get any help from veterans on those obviously and it just gets a little, you know, you, you see the guys who got it bad because those are the fuckers that sit there and they're like, <laughs> it's like every table's got a bottle of, <laughs> yes, knows what, that, that's two grand, that's two grand, that's oh. two grand. At the end of the night, you're leaving and these bottles are like half full, three quarters full. I'm like, what yep. are we doing? Oh. What are we doing right now? You know? So it's uh, sometimes they get a little out of control. I'll I'd be you. walking around, I'd put that bottle yeah. in people's mouth, like, hey, finish up, fucker. No, mm -hmm. yeah, you won't though. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, <laughs> you won't. The, the, uh, See the, you later, uh, Rook. We, yeah. Yeah, one time, so <laughs> you are outnumbered. I don't know how it worked with you guys too, because like you know, a lot of times over the course of a year, you get guys called up that are rookies. Like you aren't gonna. The players won't. They'll know. You'll have an idea if this guy is gonna be around. If he's gonna have kind of. Uh, an NHL career for multiple years. Like if you're a kid that gets called up, I mean, sometimes you get a 26 year old rookie that's got his first game. Maybe he's only going to get a couple games. He's not going to be. He's not going to be in the mix for that. You know, they'll the old cup of coffee as they like. Yeah, it. yeah. So you're you're not going to do that to those guys. But I remember this one time we had a guy, and um, yes, and he didn't play many games in the league, and but he did play some games for another team. So it's time it's time to uh, go out for rookie meal, and they're like, "All right, who are the rookies this year?" And they name them all, and they they name him. There's like this year, there was like five guys, and he's like, uh, "I'm not a rookie. I'm not a rookie. I I paid for my rookie meal. Where would you pay for your rookie meal at? Uh, when I was in Toronto. When I was in Toronto, I paid for my rookie meal. Oh. Okay. So the boys get on the horn, and they start. Making oh no, he's fucking. Busted. The fucking guy was lying. <laughs> Oh. And they're like, he never, and it was like, we had a big kangaroo court because it was like, <laughs> it was like kangaroo we court. had kangaroo court and literally like one of the players represented him and he's like, my client says that he's paid it. He paid oh, it. Yes. And this is what he paid in Toronto. And they're like, we have, we called this player, this player, and this player to play on a team. They said, he's fucking lying. He didn't pay for shit that year. These rookies paid for it in drop. <laughs> so it was like this big blow up. And that dude had to pay like double. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Gosh, like, what are you doing trying to like, that's an honor. Like, that's like, Hey, listen, it's not cool when you're writing the check and you're like, you know, four grand, five grand. Some guys have paid 10 grand over the years. It doesn't feel good when you're writing it, but when you write it, it's like, I'm in the show, man. This is pretty fucking cool. Yeah. What a fucking day. Good what for that guy. Teammate. That guy is Hey, bad teammate. That guy I'd assume probably yeah. didn't, didn't last yeah. long. Kangaroo court. I haven't heard that in fucking years. Robert. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> we that's what we used to go to for soccer when you got a red card. It's called kangaroo court. It's tough when you can't when you can't find proper representation in kangaroo court in the room. Oh. That's not a good time. For, uh, hey, you're only as good as your representation. Man. That's true. That's true. There was some uh, there was some rookies um in the past that have had to fly people all the way out. Like 
the whole trip, like a private plane trip to Vegas. No. Yeah, I, and I, I honestly, I don't know how people were able to do that and like sleep at night. But there's some guys that love it. Like, yeah, this look, we're doing this guy. What's that? Well, he's going to fly out to the, Vegas. I imagine that's, that's a situation insane. that you could do that if you've if you've had to do it yourself, maybe. But if you didn't have to do it yourself, that would be tough to make. Well, that's what Rupp said. Rupp said over there, and the same thing in the NFL. The the guys that got killed their rookie years, they're sitting there, you know, like sitting there waiting, like, oh, now it's my time to get. Yeah, I'm gonna get at least the amount of money that I paid back or whatever. It's like uh, that's crazy. But it, I think that's all calmed down a lot. I think that has all calmed down a lot lately. I'm not sure about yeah. hockey. But. Yeah, no, no, no. Like you're talking probably like hazing and stuff. That stuff doesn't happen anymore. You can't. You can't do that shit. So it just. I mean, that's it. Now it's like, hey, you're gonna pay a big bill. Uh, we might have you stand in front of everybody and, and tell a joke. You might have to sing a song. Yeah, I remember uh, the one year Scott Gomez. We were in um, uh, my rookie year was in. Um, we were in L.A. Actually, we were, we went to some uh, steakhouse in in Hollywood, and uh, Courtney Cox was sitting at another table over. And fucking Gomez had to get up and go talk to her. No, Foxy so Coxie. They they sent uh, they sent Gomer over there, and it was the most awkward fucking thirty seconds I've ever waited. <laughs> just went over there, started. I don't even know what he said. He I, we did. We're all just like, there's twenty of us all watching like this. He walks over to Courtney Cox and starts talking. She's just like, like uh, yeah, okay, go ahead. <laughs> and it was awful. Fucking it's it's fucking it's Monica it's Geller, it's dude. Better. Come on, have some respect. I like you guys Gomez. just playing impractical jokers with your rookies, though. That's, cool. <laughs> That's yeah. a good gimmick. That's yeah. a good gimmick. Yeah.